If the weather doesn't cause issues for crews, drivers will see a lot of road work starting this week. The first bit of work starts tonight at National Avenue and James River Freeway. The ramp to go from National to Westbound James River will be closing around 7 o'clock this evening right there. Now, crews are going to be installing the first two of three sound walls that are being added to James River between National and Kansas Expressway. MoDOT says that the ramp to go from Westbound James River to National Avenue will be open but there's no estimated completion date just yet. If you live in Rogersville, you'll want to listen to this one. This week, work starts on the new intersection at Route 60 and 125 in Rogersville. You can expect to see narrow lanes and traffic shifts through the entire project. The median crossover to get onto Farm Road 229, that's going to be closed permanently starting this week as well. The $20.5 million project is expected to be finished by November of next year. We have more details on our website and free news app. Also starting tomorrow, parts of Mulroy Road near I-44 will be closed. Crews are going to build a dog bone style roundabout to improve the interchange between Mulroy Road and I-44. So for the next four months, Mulroy Road between Parallel Lane and I-44, as well as the eastbound I-44 ramps will be closed. MoDOT says drivers should find another way around. The city of Springfield will also start the final phase of the Republic Road widening project. Starting this week, crews are going to be widening Republic Road to five lanes between Fairview Avenue and Campbell Avenue. There's going to be pedestrian improvements and ADA sidewalk, bike lanes and signal upgrades. And the city says at least one lane will be open at all times to minimize the impact to traffic. But you're asked to expect some slow moving traffic through that area and be careful if you have to go through the area while the work is being done. That work should be wrapped up in December.